Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Lubu. I'm your host, Lubu. Some of you might be joining me for the first time. That's okay. I'm going to explain the show. I take a video game and a food and I make them and put them together into one delicious, fun thing. A lot of these recipes are very simple and they're made with gamers in mind so that you can use the minimum time necessary and then get back to the gaming. Today's dish is the Lawbreakers Blitzball Squash. Blitzball Squash! Blitz Rock! So we've got the squash, and squash is a squash, and squash is also a ball game. And Lawbreakers has a ball game called Blitzball. And in Blitzball in Lawbreakers, you play as two teams, either the Law or the Besaid Orox. <laughs> and you attempt to Charles Barkley dunk slam on one another while also shooting people with guns. It is like basketball, period. More to the point is that we're gonna take these uh, squash and we're gonna make them delicious. And we're gonna ignore the laws of cooking which are measure things. That's the law I'm ignoring today. We're not measuring shit. Lawbreakers Blitzball Squash. Let's go ahead and get into it. So as always, let's go over the ingredients. Ingredients, squash, I got them. Blah. I got brown sugar. How much? A bag of it. Butter, that's it. Three ingredients, that's all you need. And then that's all your mise en place, you're good. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees now, before you get started, probably 10 minutes ago. We're gonna take these squash. We're gonna cut them open. We're gonna put them face down in a pan of water, which I've got right here. You can see it in camera B, pan of water. Thanks, camera B. Then we're gonna cook them. When they're done being cooked for about 20 minutes at 350, we're gonna flip them over. Once we flip them over, we're gonna fill them with brown sugar and butter, like I explained, I have that. And then we're gonna broil them. And the word broil scares a lot of gamers. And I want you to know, it's a dumb word. Stop being afraid of dumb things, dummy. Knife, cut the top off. Now, use a sharp knife. Squash is dense and tough to cut through. Blah, that's what I want. I want it to look like that. I'm gonna take a spoon. I'm gonna spoon out all the seeds and shit. Just wanna get rid of those. What you do with the seeds is your business, but if you're, a cooking, if you're a cooking person, if you're a kitchen person, you can take the seeds, lay them out on a different sheet, bake them off, and eat them. And they're tasty. Squash, I pulled the seeds out. Very, these are very difficult concepts. I wanna make sure you get them. Face down, in the water. Kablam! Same thing, part two. Lawbreakers is cool. It's got all the best types of shooter characters in there. It's got Will Smith from Suicide Squad. It's got Detlef Shrimp, another product of the Georgia public school system, Bombshell. It's got a murder robot. It's even got Electro from Spider-Man. How about that? How about that? If your squash has a brain in it, you haven't done it right. Face down in the water. Put it in the oven, 350, 20 minutes. Once that's done, we're gonna pull it out we're gonna add some butter and some brown sugar, and then we're gonna broil them. So, let's go ahead and fast forward time the way we do on this show. I pulled my squash out the oven, very hot. Very, this is a heat danger zone. I'll just use my knife. I'm gonna pop this under here. Woo! And it's, it doesn't look that much different, right? It looks mostly the same. We've steam tenderized the flesh of the, uh, of the squash. That's what we wanted to do. We're gonna keep it in the pan though. We're gonna take this butter. Now this butter has been let go to room temperature. And I'm gonna take uh, two, three pieces of each. 
I'm going to throw them in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece. And this is, like again, these are very hot. I'm just going to take it and kind of rub butter on the top of the squash like that. This is a high level technique. It's a pro strat. Pro strat. Streamers don't even know this shit. They don't know shit about this. I'm going to take my brown sugar right here. And we're just going to sprinkle it on. I want to get a little bit on the rim. And I want to get a nice chunk of it in the center. See, the butter's already starting to melt. That's fine. Not worried about it. Now, we are going to put this in the broiler. And you're going, I don't have a broiler, Lubu. I've never bought a broiler. What the fuck is a broiler? Shut up, dummy. A broiler is a part of your oven. If you own an oven, you have a broiler 99% certain, unless you live in, like, Uzbekistan. If you've never used your broiler, on your oven, there is a broil setting. You switch it to broil, and what happens is at the top of the oven containment, and in, in the top of the compartment, there's a big grid of, of uh, heating coils. Those heating coils are gonna get as hot as humanly possible for your machine. You wanna make sure that you have a rack at the top of your, uh, top of your oven, closest to the heating coils with enough space for this to go in there, okay? You wanna make sure you have enough space. You're gonna slide this in, just under the heating coils, and you're gonna make, make sure you wanna keep an eye on this, and you're gonna char basically the surface of this. It's gonna instantly cook the brown sugar, uh, and it's gonna start cooking the top of this, and it's gonna make like a candied lid for your squash. It's awesome. Thinking about it, I'm already salivating. I'm so hungry. We're gonna time it for about five minutes. If it needs to go longer, I'll keep it longer. This is an industrial broiler, so probably less time is easier. But at your house, put it between five and 10 minutes, but keep an eye on it. Use your, your oven light, Bing. put the oven light on. All right, let's go do it. They came out, I got them mostly right exactly where I want them. Nice crisp on the outside. I'm gonna speed up the process a little bit. A little blowtorch action here. And uh, if you don't have a blowtorch at home, that's fine. You probably don't work in a kitchen. Uh, but luckily for me, I have access to one. Blah, flamethrower action. I just wanted to show off. So I'm gonna be very careful when I move my squash. What I would recommend you do is wait, <laughs> wait a little bit before you move them. Uh, but, you know, for the purposes of a TV show that's made on a baller budget, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Like that, like so. Phenomenal. So I need to grab a spoon because I wanna eat some before it's, before we wrap the show. Ah! This is an old school Smalley technique, family, old family technique is that you take the squash and you just kind of ch chunk away at it and you carve it into the middle so that all the little pieces mix with the brown sugar and the butter. You're just gonna kind of spoon it in there. And that way all the flesh of the, the squash gets some of that brown sugar and that butter in it. I broke the law and I won. Mm. It's light and fluffy and soft. The squash is like spongy, but not in a bad way. The butter is so smooth and buttery. And the brown sugar, really nice, nice sweet flavors. And it's, I mean, it's like a dessert. Like, it's so good. My dad made it like this for us when we were kids to get us to eat squash. I cannot recommend this higher than what I already recommended, which is you should eat this if you love squash. If you don't like squash, you should fucking try it. Uh, and I feel the same way about Lawbreakers. It's a cool game. It's a great shooter. It's got dope characters. You can get a shotgun with a, with a pneumatic bayonet on there. It's fucking awesome. I'm Malubu. This is Cookin' Malubu. This is the Lawbreakers Blitzball Squash. You can check out Lawbreakers on their own website. Subscribe, like, do all that good shit, and I'll see you later. <laughs>